we are demonstrating here the use of the robot operating system on microcontrollers. For example, on this small quadcopter here, running uh, ROS on a tiny microcontroller with less than 200 kilobytes of RAM, communicating wirelessly here with the laptop that runs a tool from the ROS ecosystem called ARWIS to visualize the sensor data. It's communicating it further here to the other laptop and to this vacuum robot um, called here Kobuki, which runs micro ROS on this small microcontroller here. So we have micro ROS here on two different platforms with two different operating systems, three RTOS and Natex, and we have the standard robot operating system. We want to use ROS for product development and of course in products you need tinier devices for price reasons, safety reasons, hardware reasons. It's required to put ROS also on these devices to benefit from all the tools and the software components that have been created around ROS. And that's exactly the gap that we want to close with micro ROS to integrate them seamlessly with um, the larger computing devices and to allow for porting software from standard microprocessors and desktop operating systems to these tiny devices. Microcontrollers bring a lot of benefits um, regarding interoperability and communication protocols. And another important aspect is power consumption. If your robot goes standby, it has to consume uh, only very little power and um, that's something that you can hardly uh, yeah, implement with normal microprocessors, but it can be implemented very easy with microcontrollers as they feature different sleep modes and power levels.